Airbus Industries just recently announced a game-changing aircraft, the Airbus A350F. Let's get into it. Just before we start, I just want to say that the information in this video was found by me on the internet whilst doing research. I will link the website in the description. I'm sure we all know of the Airbus A350, the iconic passenger jet that turns heads anywhere it flies. The aircraft was in major competition with the Boeing 787 family. Both manufacturers added more and more traits to their aircraft in order to compete, but this next move by Airbus starts a whole new chapter. Airbus is usually one step behind Boeing when it comes to cargo aircraft. After canceling the concept of an A380 freighter variant, which would have had a 150-ton payload capacity, a range of 5,600 nautical miles, or roughly 6,444 miles, and a promising cargo capacity that only the AN-225 aircraft would have surpassed. Announced in the summer of 2021, Airbus launched the A350F program into action, leading the company one step ahead of its competitors. The A350 program is based on the A350-1000 series. This gives many benefits to the A350F and its program. Some of these benefits include the use of the powerful Trent XWB-97 engines. These engines can produce 97,000 pounds of thrust and allow the aircraft to reach a range of 4,700 nautical miles or roughly 5,400 miles. These engines are also promising up to 40% lower fuel burn and CO2 emissions. At a maximum altitude of about 40,000 feet or 12,192 meters, the Airbus A350F will have space for 42 pallets of general cargo, or if you want, you have the room for 30 large cargo containers on the main deck. On the lower deck, you're able to fit in 40 LD3s. These are half cargo containers that are built for the lower deck. The A350F is also equipped with a temperature control system. To image this better, it's just like the refrigerator trucks you might see on the highway, it's just 40,000 feet higher. This superior benefit allows the aircraft to easily transport perishables and pharmaceuticals. Other special cargo includes the ability to transport live animals and cars. All these cargo possibilities fit into the massive fuselage of the aircraft. Being roughly 230 feet, or 70.80 meters long, and just about 20 feet, 5.96 meters wide, this aircraft shows lots of opportunity. But where will the crew rest? A courier area directly behind the cockpit of the aircraft can house up to 10 seats and acts as a crew resting area and comforts the crew on their long journeys throughout the sky. Just like when the A350-1000 rolled out of production, many airlines realized its potential and placed an order. A similar scenario has happened with the A350-F. The first order for the A350-F came from an airline called Air Lease. Second in line was Singapore Airlines, who at the Dubai Air Show signed a letter of intent, or LOI, for an order of seven of these next generation aircraft. And in 2025, it is estimated that the first A350F ordered will be delivered. So far, the new Airbus A350F seems like a promising series. With many benefits and cargo sustainability, it's not too hard to see it changing the world of air cargo. What do you think? Will Airbus cancel the program as they did with the A380F? Or do you think the A350F will start a new chapter for cargo operations in the air? Let me know in the comments, and while you're there, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. That'll let me know that you liked this video and you want more like it. And as always, have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.